The tension has never been higher at Ball Pit Lane as the playoff final finally dawns. It was just the last home game of the season that saw the sides last meeting, but now they're just one game away from promotion to the Conference North. The stakes have never been higher and rain pours down as the heavens have opened. This is the break season defined. And I'm joined as always by uh, Tom Holmes. And Tom, what do you uh, predict for this playoff final? The spectacle really has never been higher and it's such a strong voice of away support from the Leamington fans. Yeah, Leamington have brought a really good following to the ball pit lane today and I reckon it'll be quite a close game Tim will be a very very tough game for both these sides and they've shown over the course of 46 games and of course over the course of 90 minutes a week ago that there really is very little separating them so it might just be one moment of quality or one piece of poor defending. Hungerford have the majority of their fans here they finished higher and so it will be uh, a home game for them and they line up with Paul Strudley in goal, Gary Horgan at right back, Matt Day captaining the side, Ian Herring in midfield and Nat Jarvis League top scorer for Hungerford up front. Leamington, meanwhile, the visitors lining up with a familiar side. It's Tony Breeden in goal and fan favourites. Connor Gudger at left back and James Mason, Jamie Hood blocking out what is a very steady defensive partnership, as well as Jack Edwards playing a deeper lying role and Sam Austin, as always, on the wing. And here, Hungerford of breaking forwards, and it's a chance through. It's Garen Preen, he's got past Breeden, but Breeden gathers the ball well there. Alertness from Tony Breeden, the ex-Sullyhole Moors player. It's a really, really good stop from Breeden in the end because it looks at Breen's pass and then Breeden just finds the right moment to stick out a hand and make a really top save. Ball with Lemmington here. They're coming forwards down that left side. Jack Edwards slides it through. Up in the air though and breaking down, headed over now. Just starting to get a little sloppy here in Hungerford. And broken down in midfield, Preen's in amongst it. Tawndry whips it forwards but it's just past Baker Richardson and a bit of a scrambling there from Paul Strudley, just making Looks sure. Looks as if Jones might have got a crucial touch on it, but uh, a what a performance uh, Richard Taundry has put in all season for Lemmington Tim. Real coup, it's launched in by Hungerford. Ball breaks and it's Cannons. Half a chance, maybe not more than that, and I think it's a drop for Clark, hasn't it? Just to hit, the, hit it on the volley, but he just can't keep it down. And now a free kick for Hungerford. Chance again to pile the pressure on, shooting into those Leamington fans. It's fired in long over the halfway line. And just defended well. It's that partnership of Hood and Mace who are not letting anything get past them. Whip back and broken down in midfield. But it's a break on for Leamington. Billy Baker Richardson and Lee Moore breaking down the right. Here's Lee Moore. He's racing away and passes it through. Can he beat his man? Lee Moore! Concedes the corner. Great work there. Yeah, it's Dave took the original free kick, it's just tracking back and he just can't quite get it in Lee Moore. And Sam Austin <laughs> taking this corner for the break, so he's really stepped up to the plate, the Burson Albion low knee of late. They'll desperately want to see him in a Leamington shirt this season, if they get promoted that could be the case. Just a composure about his play, Sam Austin drilled in low, it's Courtney Baker Richardson! Oh my word! It's unbelievable, it's Courtney Baker Richardson with a brilliant finish in the net and the Leamington end explodes. It is Leamington, the breaks that take the lead in this semi, in this final, in the playoffs. Well, it's a stunning hit from Courtney Baker Richardson. He's able to generate so much power into that shot that just drives it past the despairing Strudley. It's a lovely ball in from Austin, picks out his man perfectly. Baker Richardson just does the rest. It's a really, really good goal from Leamington Tim, and they thoroughly deserve to be in front in this oh, playoff final. Yeah, Strudley only able to palm it into the net. Hungerford here, back again. Flicked up by Leamington. Lee Moore heads it away. Touchdown. One back by Sam Austin, but back in the mix and headed on. Danger now, they're going to have to defend, but it's headed away well. Just pressure at the end of this first half, worked wide, lofted in long. Breeden claims it well, and the fans in the wrong time stand cheer. Here's 
racing forwards. Reese Tyler. Hungerford coming forwards. Danger. Dubai that has it though. Maybe a chance for Leamington to double their advantage. Courtney Baker Richardson has options to his left. Rolls the ball over. Just works it through. Here's Dubai that. Good work from Baker Richardson. Baker Richardson wide. Leamington. It's a shot. Just along the ground, disappointingly for Sam Austin. He couldn't challenge Strudley. And Breeden bouncing the ball. Arguably the player of the season, Tony Breeden. We've seen so much from him. He's scuffed that one, though, and put Taundry in a bit of a mess. Danger now for Leamington. It could be a catastrophic error from Taundry. It just couldn't get in the way, though, and flash across the face from Matt Jarvis. Jamie Hood puts him under real pressure. It's cracking to Hood. But, uh, yeah, it just doesn't drop for Taundry nicely at all, does it? He's not, he's not even expecting it from Breeden. And it's a really good hit from Nat Jarvis. Breeden, I think he just... Well, he ended up getting something on it, I think, Tim. Just not the consistency you looked for there. And the finish from Jarvis, it looked destined for that bottom corner. But maybe he could point to the quality of the pitch there, bouncing beyond the keeper's there. And a let off for Leamington. And Nat Jarvis, with 20 goals this season, will be disappointed with that one. You have to feel. But Leamington still in the lead here, and Paul Holleran looking slightly bemused by that one. It's broken wide, and Connor Gudger launches it high. It's flicked on. A launch wide, Connor Gudger is up for it. But a chance now for Hunger, but they flicked it forwards. Breeden's going to have to be alert, but brilliant from Jamie Hood on the deck again. Oh, that is Twice. phenomenal. Twice. Jamie Hood just won't let them pass. Well, he's on the floor and he just hurls himself at it, however he can. <laughs> Anything so he can block it with, Tim. Any part of his body. And they've cleared it up and into their own fans, Hungerford. It's not going well for them. It's just a wild hack into the stands, Tim. And now for the throw. Thrown forwards. Flicks over, but no problems for Tony Breeden there. Oh, it's Reese Tyler at the back. Hitting the ball ahead of him. Pacey from the back, Reese Tyler. Dude, but that's got to be working harder there, Tim, to close him down. Gets it inside. It's forwards and down. Touch from the edge. It well works. And it's a brilliant goal for Hungerford. Nat Jarvis, that's why he's the top scorer. He can do that. Because I think it was Nat Jarvis. I thought it was Stephen Brown. It could be he Stephen takes Brown. It, takes it on his right foot, pulls the trigger. It's a lovely finish past Breeden. It was an instinctive finish, but Leamington are defiant. And it is one all now. Honours even and all still to play for. I think you were saying before the match time, extra time and penalties could well be on the cards again after that. A goal out of nothing for Hungerford and I wouldn't say they deserve it. And it was instinctive more than anything from Stefan Brown. He has that in his locker. Throws it forwards. A confident turn from James Rusby. Substitute. And a chance for hunger for that, working their way forwards, but Sam Austin's won it! And here he is, Sam Austin! But can't curl it around to Courtney Baker Richardson snatching at that one. He could see what he was trying to do, but the pass at the end of it just couldn't beat the man. And I think Sam Austin does struggle in uh, the more adverse weather conditions sometimes. Here's Gittings though, back on the pitch, and Sam Austin, just second best there, needs to show more aggression. Leamington chasing shadows a bit here. Gavin Preen rip, whips it in. And Paul Saul heads it to no one, inviting the pressure on here at Leamington. That goal just seems to have really boosted Hungerford's confidence. It's cold and it's flicked low. Breeden nearly spilled it, but does have it under his control now. He knew exactly what he was doing there, Tony Breeden judged it perfectly. It's back, Mike Jones clears it. 
Acrobatic and Jamie Hood just can't get on the end of that one. It's a good clearance from Gudger though, he's drifted in field and Tawndry lots it up. Hey tennis now a chance. Brilliant defending from James Mace there, flattening Nat Jarvis, one of the league's top scorers, just as he looks set to pull the trigger and Nat Jarvis is staying down injured and I think from a Leamington perspective they're not going to be too fussed about that. No, Breen's just booted it out for a throw in. How long is it before we see Ben Mackey coming on? An option on the bench for the breaks. Two minutes is the call from the fans. What will Paul Holleran say? Curled in and flicked on for Hungerford. Danger here from the edge. Working wide. Garen Preen with the shots. Blocks. Block. They're really baying for blood. They're baying for blood, Hungerford. Lemmington will have to be on their toes here. Launched in across, flicked over. Ten. And it's a second goal for Hungerford. Off the corner. It has been coming. Leamington just haven't found their feet in the second half and haven't adjusted. They really need to find something special here, Leamington. They're used to coming from behind. Ben Mackey. You can see Ben Mackey straight away is up. Uphill battle for Leamington. Too little too late with Ben Mackey coming on now. It's not been the second half Lumington would have hoped for after a really good first 45 minutes. And how much heart do they have now? The fans are full of it, but close to the edge now. Sam Austin will well, be taking this. Breeden's on the halfway in. line. Austin flips it in. Baker Richardson can't get to it. Pass the in. Oh, just along the ground though, and getting some racing in, but it wasn't quite enough. Yeah, it was towards goal by Mace, but it just is looking increasingly like it's going to be heartbreak for the breaks. Drizzle raining down in Berkshire, Hungerford to yeah. Leamington 1, and that is that, the end to Leamington season. It's been an upbeat season, but a, a sad ending, and although it's sad, one that can't undermine the amazing efforts of the players, and I'm sure they'll be back next season, Tom. Yeah, it was a, it was a really good season overall for the breaks, and uh, they'll be absolutely gutted they didn't make promotion, but... Mm. They'll be back next year. And it really has been a privilege either way to experience the highs and lows of Leamington. Congratulations to Hungerford. <laughs>